Marantz is a company that you would usually associate with high-end CD players, AV receivers, and turntables. But this is simply because those consumer products are the ones that receive the most marketing attention. In fact, there's an entire line of Marantz professional products that specialize in not just professional-grade audio playback, but also recording. One of their entry-level products is this, the Turret. Now, I do apologize for having to orientate it this way on my table. It's just too big for my 50mm lens to get everything in. I also specifically did this so that I can point the microphone towards me and I'll be using this as my audio recording for this review rather than my usual recording equipment. So let me know down in the comments what do you guys think of this. As an all-in-one system, the turret definitely doesn't look or feel like a poorly constructed and overpriced product. We're getting lots of strong sturdy metal which does give it some added heft. The base seems wide enough to keep the whole structure securely planted on a desk or other flat surface. The mostly black color scheme and a few gold colored accents looks quite attractive and I think totally appropriate for a more professional setting. Being an all-inclusive system intended for amateur internet broadcasting, what you're getting is both a webcam as well as a much better microphone system than what you'd normally get with the microphones that are built into many webcams. Around the back is where we find the DC power input as well as a 3.5mm auxiliary output should you want to route the audio from the microphone to an external mixer or recorder. Above this is a Type-C port which will transfer the video and audio information to your connected PC. But the Type-C port is also connected to the two full-sized USB ports above it, both of which can be used to connect other peripherals. So in addition to having a microphone and a camera, the turret can also act as a two-port USB hub. Flipping over to the lower portion of the front, here we've got various controls and switches. The bottom most is a 3.5mm headphone output, which also has a volume control knob just above it. Just above the headphone volume control is a mixer knob, which allows you to adjust the balance between the audio signal that has been processed by your PC and the signal coming in from the microphone. This is primarily needed if you experience significant audio delay between the microphone and the video capturing, and it can also only be used when the headphones are connected. Moving further up, we have the microphone and the webcam switches, which allow you to mute the mic and turn off the webcam. And finally, the topmost knob is a dimmer switch for the built-in LED ring light, which allows you to control the brightness of the light or to turn it off completely. The uppermost portion of the entire contraption houses the 1080p full HD webcam and LED ring light. The entire upper post can rotate nearly completely around and there are also a few degrees of up and down adjustment as well. The microphone is mounted on the end of a rather long adjustable arm and features both a shock protected mounting as well as a removable filter. There's also a gain switch that allows you to adjust to a lower gain of uh, minus 10 dB in case the 0 dB setting results in audio being clipped. Overall, the turret offers a somewhat simplistic design and yet it's still packed with quite a number of features making it a very feature-rich product despite its relatively compact nature. Unfortunately, the turret does not have any sort of height adjustment, which will limit where you can place the device on your desk and may mean that you'd need to adjust the height of your chair instead. Of course, a device's amount and type of features is only half the story. What really matters is how they perform and of what use they are to the user. Let's start off with the camera. It's pretty basic at 1080p 30 frames per second, which does offer some decent audio focusing speeds. As far as the quality is concerned, well, it's of course no match or substitute for a DSLR, or you could argue even for a mid-range mobile phone. The image quality is pretty soft and finding the sweet spot between an underexposed and overexposed image can be a little tricky. The ring light can give off a decent amount of brightness, but again, this is absolutely no substitute for separate, more diffused lighting. Using the ring light in darker environments can either help or greatly complicate the exposure of the cam, as it doesn't diffuse quite enough. I find it's best to stay away from the brighter settings in a dark environments, as you can blow out the highlights pretty quickly, especially if you've got a lighter skin tone. 
Moving on to the microphone, this one works pretty well. The pop filter does a decent job and I find that the mic overall does quite well at not picking up on background noises. The shock mount is kind of okay I guess, but it doesn't work as well as you would expect a shock mount to work. You can definitely still pick up on slight knocks such as bumping on the table or even typing on the keyboard. When it comes to the outright value of the turret, it's important to consider who it's intended for. The brand might be Moran's Professional and it might look to some extent like a professional grade product, but this is far from being a professional solution. Instead, the turret seems like a good, relatively affordable solution for someone, perhaps a teenager, who is looking to dip their toes into something like YouTube or Twitch streaming. As I mentioned, the image quality from the camera is definitely not going to come close to that of even an entry level DSLR, so the turret really would not be appropriate if you plan on using it to showcase or review physical products. But for live streaming, while playing games, or for just lifestyle or advice vlog type of content, then you really won't need much more than the turret to get yourself started. It literally is a plug and play product that will get you going in just a few minutes. Once you start using the turret and you find yourself really enjoying making whatever content it is that you're making, then you'll very likely find yourself wanting to upgrade your equipment fairly quickly, especially if image quality is important. But for the younger crowd who are just getting into the swing of things, the $300 price tag of the turret seems both reasonable and attainable, offering you a decent amount of features and in a relatively compact form.